So I'm Forrest. Danny convinced me to try to start this unboxing show with him. Uh, we're going to try to do some uh, technology stuff. I don't really even know what we're going to do. We're not sure yet. This is our first episode of maybe more. If you guys want more, we'll do it. If you don't, then just tell us to kill it now. <laughs> and we'll, we'll just stop while we're ahead. We'll just continue with Life for Sale. All right, this is, I'm Forrest Feld. I unbox stuff. I fix stuff. I buy electronic stuff that's too expensive for my credit card. And I like the sound of the knife going through the tape on the box. Today we're unboxing a FLIR E6 thermal imaging camera. It's a camera that shows temperature of whatever you point it at. You can see through walls, you can see through doors, you can see through attics. You can, it's almost like, almost like an x-ray camera. You can almost, you can see through clothes sometimes. So, <clears throat> this is the FLIR E6, this is the box it comes in. It sounds expensive. Made in Estonia, I don't know where that is. Probably somewhere in Europe, make America great again. Let's open it up and see if there's something better inside. All right, we're gonna open this up, this bad boy up. All right, we're getting, here, here it goes. Here, this is getting better. This is getting much better here. I'm gonna pull this out here, get rid of that boring shit. So this, this is starting to look better. This is starting to make me feel good. It shows you about the camera on the back. It says it's rugged, it's not gonna take a shit, which is good. This is a nice case. It's really sturdy, it looks like it's in like a, Nice drop proof case. Slide it out of the sleeve. The nice FLIR badging on the front. This case is freaking nice. This is a hard case. And it came with it. I didn't have to order it separate. It was all part of the kit. All right, so let's open the case and see what's inside here. So we flip it open here. Oh, it's nice, that egg crate. It's got custom foam inside of it. So here's the camera itself. Look at that bad boy. This thing is freaking nice, dude. You can tell it's not made in China. This is like, this is like a real, it feels good in the hand, right? It's pretty light, so that to the camera itself, we got the charger, need that. It's a USB mini charger. And then we got this thing called documentation accessories. Probably the manual, I don't read that. This is the FLIR E6, they make an E4 and an E8. This is kind of the middle of the line camera for entry level before you get to like the tens of thousands of dollar cameras. On the street, it's usually about 2,000 to 2,500 for this model. And then the one above that is another thousand bucks, it's 3,500. Let's press some buttons and see what they do. All right, so I click the middle button and it says measurement, image mode, settings, color, and temperature scale. So, since I didn't read the directions, let's click on each one of those and see what it does. You can change it from thermal to picture in picture, thermal blending, and then adjust a digital camera if you wanna take regular pictures. This is pretty cool. So this is different color modes. So it starts off with like the red being the hot and the blue being the cold. A practical use for something like this would be if you're looking for, let's say, a leak in your house inside the wall. You know there's a leak, you can't find it. This, you can look for temperature differences inside the wall. Mold, you can find mold with these. Like, if, so if there's a leak, there's gonna be mold and mold's gonna be a different temperature. You can find where your air conditioning is leaking out around your windows. Pretty much anything you need to know temperature-wise. If you're sick, you can, if you don't wanna touch uh, somebody in your house for a fever, you can just do this from across the room so you don't gotta touch them. That's why I bought this, so I don't have to touch my kids if they have a fever, I don't wanna get sick. Also, a kinda cool use for this is finding uh, spy microphones and hidden cameras. They stick out like a sore thumb. When you point this at something such as a camera or a microphone or anything that's got electricity going through it, it just lights up red. So if somebody has something uh, hidden in your house, it's, it's gonna be impossible for them to hide it with this. It just shows up so clear, clear as day. So this camera is so sensitive that if I touch the table, see my finger, it literally leaves my fingerprint on the table. Think about if you go to the bank and you type in your ATM number, let's say like one, two, three, you can literally just go up right after that person with this and you can literally see the buttons they pressed. And that, that's pretty dope. Isn't that crazy? All right, we're gonna see if we can do this on an iPhone. So if I touch this iPhone screen to unlock it, you can still see where I'm pressing it even after I pressed it. I don't wanna light up the screen because then it'll make it harder for you to see it on this camera, but it's still, you can still see it. All right, so we heard a rumor that you could see vaguely, possibly x-ray vision through clothes maybe. We brought my buddy here, Rafal, to see if we can see through his clothes. <laughs> What are so, we gonna so look at? The rumor is that this is like similar to x-ray vision where you can see through clothes and stuff like that. So right now I'm showing Rafal's pants. Let's change the color on here. 
So you can see, I mean, you can see his body temperature is a lot hotter, but it's washing out the definition. This is the things we do for science. So conclusion, this is pretty cool. It's mainly for industrial use. I don't think that it would really be that economical for a home user to use it. It's a cool piece uh, for the price. It works pretty good. Um, didn't work for if you're a weirdo, it's not gonna probably work for you, um, which is good. We don't want weirdos to buy these. That's why we did this test so you don't have to.